Hello everyone, in this video I will show you a simple way how you can change font family of the text game object dynamically within your game. Let's start from new Unity project. First of all, we need to get those fonts somewhere, and it would be pretty cool if those are free. One of the great sites with free fonts, which I used for the last time, is fontsquirrel.com. Here you can find tons of free fonts, which you can use in your projects. Only thing you should care about is to pay attention to license conditions each font is attributed to. As we are creating kind of application, then we should check out this kind of license, which allows us to embed the particular font in applications and software. And once the desirable font is found, you can download it by clicking this blue download button. So here I've downloaded some fonts, and now we are ready to import them to our project. Here is our project. And here are our fonts. Select all of them and drag and drop them into Unity project. I've already created a folder for them, so I drag and drop those fonts into that folder. There we go. Now let's create new text game object. Usually, when first UI element is created, then canvas is created automatically as well. I usually set canvas scale mode to scale with screen size, so UI elements will be scaled depending on screen size. So here is our text game object. Let's anchor it at the center holding Alt plus Shift keys. Here it is pretty tiny. Modify its text field. Set font size. Set alignment. Set overflow to make text visible outside the paragraph border. Set color. Now we can change this font family option here in Inspector by dragging and dropping our fonts into this font slot. Like this. But what if we want to change it during the game for some reason? In this case, a pretty simple script can help us. Here I created one named Change Font. It uses Unity Engine UI library to control UI elements. Here we have my fonts array that we can set up in Inspector thanks to serialized field attribute. Next we have text variable which will be referenced to text component. And here is counter variable which will act as index for our font array. In start method we get text component first. Then we set counter to zero and set text font family. In this case, it will be the first member of my fonts array as counter equals to zero. Update method. Here we check if touch event occurs and touch face equals to begin, which means that we place finger on the screen. In this case, we increment counter by one. Then we should check if counter becomes greater than two, and if it does, then we set it back to zero, creating kind of loop from zero to two. After that, we set font family according to counter's value. If it's zero, then first font from array is applied. If it's one, then the second font is applied, and so on. That's the script. Drag and drop this script to text game object. Select text game object. Here, in change font script component, we can set our font array. As we have three fonts here, then array size should be set to three. There we go. And now all we need to do is to drag and drop our fonts into these slots, like so. That's it. This simple script helps us to modify font family of text game object during a game. Hope this tutorial was useful for you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.